outro cast. Well, technology aside, is it a good day for you so far? Yeah, it's been a good day. I'm on the set, so uh, I'm sorry to be a little bit, uh, a little bit tardy. Not tardy at all. And uh, okay. your ears must be burning or ringing, whatever the expression is, because I was just interviewing Nick Totoro, and he was talking about how you are how he wound up in Overrun. Is that correct? Well, yeah, I've always been a fan of Nick's, uh, Nick's work. And uh, when I read the part in the script, I immediately thought about him because I wanted to work with him for some time. And uh, it just worked out. Thank God. You know, he's really terrific in this role. But to your credit, he's, he's so inventive. He, yeah. Well, he didn't send me my commission yet. But he said this is not the first <laughs> role that you've kicked him. So good on you for, you know, getting work for friends that are also great actors. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm, I'm a good for some friends and I make make enemies with other friends that say, well, why didn't you give that role to me? I don't know. It just worked. It just worked out. And Nick is terrific in the part. He's he's so inventive and he's such a such a sweet man and a great to hang out on the set with, you know, Besides, well, nice to meet you. Well, thank you. Thank you for doing this. Obviously, I've been watching your work for decades now. I don't know if that's a horrifying thing or that's a compliment to hear. No, it's, that's a double edged sword. That's it's 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 both horrifying and sweet. Thank you. You well, know, I, I tell friends I. I used to be the youngest guy on the set, and now I'm always the oldest guy on the set. But there's something to be said about that. At least I'm still here. You're, you're not the oldest guy on the set on Overrun, and I've had the pleasure of interviewing Bruce. And Bruce remembers everything ever. Bruce is telling me things about my hometown. Had you worked with Bruce before this film? Oh, my. No, I hadn't, you know, I, but I grew up watching Bruce. He is like the quintessential bad guy yeah. in uh, just about every other West Western that I ever saw. Yeah. He killed John Wayne. Am I right? Yeah, <laughs> he did. He killed my, he killed my uh, youthful hero. Right. Yeah. But at this point in time, we've seen you as a police officer many different times. We've seen you on the other side of police other times so it sounds like if bill's in it it's going to be a great project so in the case of overrun did you work with anyone besides nick from the cast before um i had worked with the director josh um i had worked with the director josh uh, several times in the past but he's he's a very accomplished second unit director and stuntman and uh, I had always championed him to, uh, to direct because he certainly is well deserving of it. Uh, and I think he, uh, he shows his stuff here. He's got all the right stuff. He does a great job uh, with the resources he had available. And I think this will be a springboard for him and his company, Turbo Panda, in the future. It's, it's, I think it's going to do very well. And it's a, it's a terrific little popcorn movie that people will really enjoy. Great, great action. Yeah, it starts off with action, which is a good thing. A lot of movies kind of got away from that opening scene into the title sequence. They just start with the title sequence. So you could tell that there's some classic influence from action movies in this film yeah 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 well he's a uh, he's an aficionado he does like uh the artistic end of filmmaking and and he's uh very well versed in it and, and he able he's able to bring all of his tools to bear in this film got it from being a real music oriented person i know that you did an album for mca records in the early 80s was the plan originally to be a singer or is that somebody said hey you're on tv would you want to cut an album no i i majored i went to school and college the first two years of college i majored in music music theory and composition so i always had a love of it um it it was something that i was able to do i mean in my teens and early 20s i was playing playing in bars and stuff, you know, just a bar band and playing. And 
uh, in fact, I, I shared a, a, a bill with Al Giro for many years at a, at a club uh, back when Al, before Al Giro was Al Giro. Yeah. You know, and um, the opportunity presented itself. I did the album. It, it was a hoot. We just had a lot of fun. I've always been a hobbyist. You know, I still continue to this day. It's my hobby. And once in a while, I force my wife and friends to listen. You know, I just, they have no choice. <laughs> so you had a positive major label experience. That's not something that you hear every day. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. You know, I, I enjoyed it. It was on MCA. I think uh, Irving Azoff took, took over the label at the time uh, that record came out. We did all right. You know, it was the, the record in hindsight, it was overproduced. Uh, certainly wasn't um, wasn't my best work, but I, I really enjoyed it. I have I have no apologies to make for that record. It, it was fun. I mean, every actor at one point or another wants to do something. You know, there there's some wonderful artists, some painters in our business. There's some wonderful musicians, um, and uh, you know. I, I think the artistic bug, it, it spreads itself out. Acting, art, music, you know. God yeah. knows. I mean, I, I, I spent a lot of time on stage uh, over my career. And uh, a lot of that was in musicals like Pippin. I was lucky enough, you know, to do with Fosse and whatnot, and Cheetah Rivera. And, and I had the Ben Vereen and I had an opportunity to go on tour with the late great George Rose and Pirates of Penzance. And oh, I, I've done I've done a lot of theater, a lot of musical, you know. I sing like a boy, you know? I sing like a boy. <laughs> well, the key is <laughs> when I had a voice many years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm sure you still do have a voice. And I think the key is you've always worked no matter the genre the style of the work, and that speaks to talent and being easy to work with. And do you know which film is next after Overrun in terms of releases? Because this is not your only project of the last two years. No, uh, I'm doing a project right now with some wonderful people. Uh, I was lucky enough to get in a film with John Cusack. And, um, uh, oh my God, Emil Hirsch. I had sponge brain for a minute. I'm trying to remember lines for my next scene that I'm, I'm working right now. Um, so I'm in like, my brain is like uh, triple time. Yeah. Um, working with those guys and some other wonderful, uh, uh, Jake Manley, who's very well known in TV and whatnot. Oh, look at that. Josh Tessier, our director. <laughs> he's telling, no, he's telling me to shut up. I'm He's telling me to shut up. I'm too loud because they're <laughs> shooting next door. Well, then I'm just going to ask you one more question and then you'll be on your way and I'll get you on this next film, Press Junket. And that, okay. that question is, do any photos of you and comedian Cat Williams together exist? You know, a funny story about that because we both live in the Calabasas area in Southern California, you know, outside of L.A., and I actually got served an order to a, a summons to appear in court that was addressed to Cat Williams. And I, and I had to go down to City Hall and take care of it. And I said, hey, sorry, guys, wrong, wrong. Uh, you got the right names, but they're in the wrong order. Yeah. Yeah. It was when uh, you remember years ago, he got he got summoned because he was carrying a gun through yeah. the airport. Do you remember that? Yes. And I got the summons to appear in court. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to meet him. I would love to. I, I think he's hysterically funny. I've enjoyed him for many, many years. One day, and I guess that's a Stephen Katz, Cat Stevens, Fisher Stevens, Stephen yeah. Fisher scenario. So thank you so much for coming. Look <laughs> yeah. forward to this uh, movie that you're making with a great cast like that. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Bye. Bye, you guys. Outro cast.